Okay, so now we're about two days in to this ad. So let me show you, let me refresh it. So here's what's going on. So the first ad, we're mm -hmm. going, let me open up this. It's 150 for the lifetime. That's for the rest of the month, right? So over the next you know, week or so, that'll be a total of 150. That's the, that's the, that's the budget. And then when you come to the middle tab, this is the ad set. These are the three different targeting. And that's mm -hmm. why as you get better on the Karcher side and the copywriting, mm -hmm. you also are going to start getting better at knowing your audience because right now, and it's only, it's only been two days, a little over two days. So it's not enough time at all to worry about these ads at all at all. It's not until we get to like day seven, if nothing happened, then it would come down to the audiences. It would come down to either the audiences are off, which I don't think they are. Those are three good audiences, especially Oprah. Like that's a good audience for especially your demographics, 40 to 65 women. Like that would be, that, that would, I, I wouldn't even think it would be the targeting of the audiences. If anything, it's the message. If anything, it's the video. If anything, we got to keep doing different video. That's, where, that's why from the very beginning of day one, I kept telling you, all you need to worry about is putting out video because it's not just one video. We have to put out a hundred because you don't know which one's gonna pop. You don't know. That's why with YouTube, I put up a video every damn day. Sometimes I'll get videos that have 20 views. Sometimes I'll get videos that have 200. Sometimes I'll get videos that have 50,000. I don't know which video is gonna pop. So I have to put out a video every day. Now ads, you don't have to put out a new video ad every day, but you for sure wanna put out a new video ad every week because you just don't know which one's gonna pop. Until it pops, then we can run that one longer. But if we go seven days and nothing happens, we need to put out a new video because it, it might not be the audiences, especially if we know that we're targeting the right audience, then it has to be either the video, people just are not resonating with the video, or they're not resonating with the copy that's on the landing page. So when you look at the numbers, here, here are some numbers to look at. So it's only been two days, so I'm not expecting any leads just yet, but we do have some numbers. We do have some numbers, $35. So $13, $12, $10 have been spent in the last two days on these three campaigns. So, so that's a total of $35. And then when you scroll more, it's showing how many people are clicking. So link clicks. Not that many people have clicked in Oprah, but it's still early. I wouldn't worry about this at all right now. But these are some basic numbers to, to, to look at. And then the three-second views, 134 people have watched at least three seconds of the video. Um, and then 101 people from Oprah and then 92 from, Li from, Lis from Lisa. So people are, are watching at least three seconds of the video. People, a few people have clicked but not that not anyone have has opted in yet. So again, when you go further into the campaign, seven days, maybe even 10 days in, these numbers are going to be bigger. And if there's no leads that came in, then it's those two things. It's either, it's Where either. Would the leads be? What? Where would the leads be? Where would right, you see? Right here, right here, leads. So when no leads have came in, you'll either go back to the drawing board and put out a new video or you'll go back to the drawing board and, re, and, and change maybe the, the headline of the landing page. It's always about the landing page. It's all about the landing page. Because over here, you could tell six, two, three. People have clicked, but maybe the headline isn't catchy enough. So that's where you'll be testing the headline in and, and, and different videos. So that's why you have to look at it on a whole campaign. You have to look at it on a monthly basis, for example. You have to look at it where it's like, okay, my budget is X amount for the entire month. If I go through the first part of the month and 150 bucks are spent, I don't care because I still got the whole three, the next three weeks. I got three more videos coming out. I'm going to change up the headline on the landing page. That's where you start tweaking different things. The landing page and multiple videos. You can't just run one video and think that's the one that's going to get you a shitload of leads. It doesn't work that way. That's why the best of the best are always putting out new content. With YouTube, I'm putting out new content every damn day. So 
in this case, you're paying, so you can't do a new ad every day. Now we can run ads every day, but it's the same video. You don't need to change up the video every day. But again, seven to 10 days down the line, that's when you wanna try to mix it up if leads are not coming in. So if leads weren't coming in, um, I would let this run. I would let this run the whole 150. The whole 150, let it run. And then, and then if, if the performance wasn't that great, if the lead capture wasn't that great, that's what I'm telling you it would be based on. It'd be based on that video, people just weren't resonating with it, or it would be based on the landing page. And again, it would be the landing page if we see a, t a ton of clicks. So if I see 60 clicks and no one opted in, tw 200 clicks and no one opted in, it's the landing page. So you could tell, you, you'd be able to tell if there's a lot of links and no leads, the landing page isn't catchy enough. Okay. So, so that's, that's where you can kind of test is landing page headline and, 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 and new content every week, new video. Okay. But okay. even though we have the 150, we can still, if I give you another video, you can still put that new video. Oh that yeah. Right? Oh, of course. Cause now what we're going to be able to do, in fact, let me do that right now. Let me do that right now. Here's what we're going to do. When the new video comes out, let's call it at the end of the, let's, let's call it the first let's we're running this one to the 31st, right? We're, we're going to run this campaign to the 31st. By that time, we're going to have hundreds of people, probably even a few thousand that have watched that video. They watched at least three seconds of it. They watched at least three seconds of it. Some of them are going to watch even, even longer than that. That's when we turn around and we retarget. We, go, we run ad number two. Maybe that one starts on November 1st. Mm -hmm. And we run that from the 1st to the 10th. One new video. That's the second video. And what we do with that one is we retarget all the people who watched the first one. In fact, I already have it. I, I set it up already. There it is there. So these are, this is an audience that is growing. Right now, there's fewer than 1,000 people. So all I'm doing with this one is I'm gathering all the people who are watching at least 25% of that video. Those are people that I'm going to be able to show my next ad to. That's what you want to keep doing. You want to keep building custom audiences around those who are watching your previous videos. That's, that's when you stay. That's when you keep staying in front of people. You watch my previous one. You're going to see my next one. You watch that one, you're going to see my third one. You're watching all three, you're going to see my fourth one. And by that time, people, by the, by the time a person sees three, four videos, they become indoctrinated. By that time, they keep seeing you three, four times later. By that time, they feel like they know you, they feel like they like you, and they feel like they trust you. That's exactly YouTube for me, example. That's my experience on YouTube. That's just video in general. But the reason why people, I have so many people, I have so many, I'm on calls all day, every day. I'm doing calls like this with five different people a day. These are all people who found me from YouTube. But why did that happen? Because they keep seeing my damn video. So on Facebook, if I'm going to keep putting out video, it's ad. And so all I'm doing is I'm running a weekly ad and I'm showing it to the people who watch my, I'm, I'm showing my next one to the people who watch my last one. I'm showing my third video to those who watch my last two, mm -hmm. right? So I'm staying in front of people that are, that are watching my stuff, which builds the credibility, which builds the likability, which gets people to see me, gets people to feel like they know me, gets people to trust me. And before you know it, then they're clicking and entering their name and email. Mm -hmm. So the first ad, people don't know you yet. You can't expect them to be all over your page, entering their name and email. They don't even know you yet. The magic comes in when you're retargeting people who have saw your previous stuff. That's the magic in Facebook advertising. It's when you retarget people who are watching your previous stuff. Or, or for example, let's go back to the, to, the, to the analytics. These are all people, and again, it's only been a couple of days, so the numbers are not as big. But in a few days, the numbers will be much bigger. But here's, here's what I want to show you. Is that when you look at the link clicks, these are people who landed on the page. Let me go back down to 
which one we have four things actually here. It's, yeah see it's not christy it's a, sometimes by default facebook always puts you in this top one it's this bottom one that we're working out of so when it comes to these numbers let me show you ebook campaign so when it comes to the clicks we got let's go to the ad sets now we can look at all three so when we look at the clicks 11 these are 11 people who landed on the landing page but did not fill it out that's a custom audience so that right there is a custom audience which let me do this real quick which i thought i already did i know i already did that actually let me go back to audience actually yeah i already did that let me let me check this real quick audiences yeah i know i i know i did that did this already Okay, so we should see, we should see an audience over here. Okay, perfect. So here's, here's your other audiences. Okay, cool. So look, this right here, this is what I set up for you. So yeah, I showed you the first one. These are people who are watching at least 25% of that video. We're going to retarget them in future mm -hmm. ads. But what we're going to also retarget are people who are landing on the page. These are visitors only. These are people who have not opted in. So those people who have clicked, there was 11 of them. Those are people that pretty soon that'll be 1100. So as you continue to run ads, that's going to be 1100. And so those will be people that you retarget. Those are people that saw your ad. They clicked on your ad. They came to your landing page, but for whatever reason, they didn't fill out the form but at least they landed there, at least they clicked, and there was 11 of them so far. So when we come over here, 11 clicks, those are people who all landed on the landing page but didn't fill out the form. So now these 11 people, super low number right now, but it'll be a high number soon. These are all people who landed on the page. Those are people who are now in a custom audience. When I go run ad number two, I'm gonna retarget all those people. So now they're gonna see you again. They know they clicked on your ad before. They saw your landing page before. They just didn't opt in. So it becomes a game of not, not cat and mouse. It's not a game of cat and mouse, but it's just a game of, hey, I know you clicked. I'm going to show you my next ad. I know you watched my last video. I'm going to show you my next one. And so the only people that are doing that are people that are showing an interest. And if you're targeting the right group, if you're targeting the right gender, if you're targeting the right age group, it's only a matter of time before they click and opt into what you're doing. Now, you're public speaking, targeting Oprah. Now, but it's women only, right? It's women only. So let's go back and let's look at the ad sets. Let's look at each one. You can come in here, click on edit, and you can see the targeting. So over here, you scroll down, and we got. We got United States, we got 40 to 60, we got women. And we're targeting can Caroline. We change, uh, can we add to the state, the place, um, the country? Is that possible? Yeah, but not in this one. We'd set up a oh. whole nother ad. Oh, okay. oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so you don't come in here. Once these ads are running, you don't okay. come in here and change anything. Ah, okay. Yeah, because okay. if you change anything, you throw off the entire ad. So okay. you just want to simply let it run. And if, and if, and if you want to target a different country, okay, fine, let's go and create a different ad. But see, here's the deal too. Mm -hmm. We should have known that country from the beginning because these three, it could have been four. So we got Caroline, Oprah, Lisa, and then Australia. Right. And those four would have been used, would have been targeted using that same budget which was the 150, for example. Okay. Right? But you have to do it from the beginning. But now we'll just have to completely set up a whole new second ad, which is not a big deal. I can come in here, click create, and do a whole second ad. Okay. I think I'll rather right wait, and then if we're doing it, we use a different, uh, um, a different uh, video. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Our second time around, we can, we can do a second ad. We can do multiple countries. 
Correct. Correct. Yeah, we can we can do that. But again, you want to this is this is going off of this is going, I think it's like 10 days. 10 days, I think. That's what I want you to kind of look at. Like, and I tell people all the time, if you like you have your daytime job, and that's a good thing because you need some type of budget for this stuff, right? So Mm -hmm. I always tell people whether you go get a daytime job or you start selling something on the weekend, you have a garage sale every Sunday, whatever, whatever the hell you got to do to free up a few hundred a month to afford your advertising budget is what you have to do. So if your daytime job allows that income, then that's perfect. But if you have to start something else on the side where you're just maybe selling, I don't know, flipping something, flip whatever, just to free up a few hundred you got to do that because you want to start looking at this as start looking at it as, as, as 150 every, I mean, I would look at it at, at one, 150 every 10 days. I would, I would start looking at it, looking at it, budgeting it that way. So 150, 150 every 10 days, 150 times, let's just say four, you're at, you're at 600 for 40 days. So in a 40 day period, you would have spent about 600 in 40 days. So that's why, that's why you also have to have your back end tight because if I'm going to spend that much to give away an ebook and then I'm going to get these people in my pipeline and start to get emails, I better have that other product that I'm trying to sell them. So in your case, if it is a $2,000 coaching program, well, you better really have that program dialed in because as these emails start to go out, the whole objective, is it to get them to join the Facebook group or is the whole objective to get them to schedule the call? Because those are two different things. In your case, I would be, I would be shooting for a call. Forget about the Facebook group. The hell with the Facebook group. I need to get you on the phone. So I would have a link to my calendar in every email, every video that I was putting, I, I would be, I was putting out every video I'd be shooting for a call. Hey guys. And by the way, if you'd like to schedule a call where we jump on and I teach you all my t- tips and strategies, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And don't forget to check for tomorrow's email. Tomorrow's email. I'll be talking about mistake number seven. See you guys then. I would be shooting for appointments and I would have something to sell them because I got to make that 600 back. Yes. Right. I got to make that 600 back. And the way you look at it, here's the way you look at the full blown campaign. If I'm looking at spending 600, let's just call it 500. If I'm looking at spending 500 a month, well, let's call it, I mean, let's call it what it is. Let's just look at $10 a day. I mean, if, if you were going $10 a day, which is super, super low, but it's, it's a starting point, 300 a month, 300 a month. I would call it 400 a month. Call it 400 a month. Four, actually, let me, let me take it up a little bit. Four, 15 times 30 is what? 450. That's where I would be if I were you. 450. 450 a month on Facebook advertising. Here's how you have to look at it. What am I selling them after that? Am I selling the, the coaching program? Okay, cool. What is that coaching program? Two grand. But even if it was a grand, even if that coaching program was 500 bucks, it's worth it. So if I'm running Facebook ads for an entire month and I only get one paying client at $500, I made 50 bucks. I made 50 bucks. I didn't waste my money. I made 50 bucks and I got a shitload of leads. Because yes, I had maybe 50 leads, but I only closed one. I still got 49 people that are in my email that I'm trying to get them to schedule an appointment next. Next month, I do the same thing. Spend 450. Now I get two clients, but I still got 50 new more leads. Now I got 100 leads in my pipeline getting emails. So I wouldn't, unless you have a full-blown $2,000 product right now, okay, cool, roll it out. But if you got to dumb it down, and lower the price to let's say 500 just for an initial you know coaching right now i have a 500 hour program where i'm teaching people fi- facebook ads i have a super low 500 hour product but even at that it still allows me to stay focused and it still allows me to profit i have um I have a low offer at 997 but that's a group program 
Yeah. Well, then that's the offer. So the whole strategy is to run Facebook ads to get people to download your book. Once they start to receive emails, every email is about scheduling a call. Every video is about scheduling a call. The hell with your Facebook group. When I'm doing my email, when I'm doing the emails, you know how I did the email sequences? Mm -hmm. Can I put a video in that email instead of text? Or does it have to go on the page? No, the video has to go on the page. Good question. Okay. Yeah, the okay. video has to go on the page. And you want the video on the page. You could put the video in the email, but it won't open up in the email. And it won't open up on a – it opens up on a different type of page. Like when you're in the email and you're building it out in Kartra, you can choose to put a video slot there. But as they press it, as they click, they open up your email, they're reading the email, and then they click – it opens up the video in a separate type of window. And, and the reason why I don't like that, and I rather have them click and go to a page is because on that page is my Facebook pixel. And on that page is a button for my calendar. Okay. Because so I don't want the video to play in the email. I want you to click the email, go to a separate page, watch my video there. Because on that page, you're going to click to schedule a call. Okay, so then for me, if I decide to do other videos where I'm doing sales video or teaching something and then tell them to click here to schedule a call for more, um, for each of those pages, I also have to have an email. Is that right? Or can I just continue to put on the pages without an email? Because they already opted in. Well, there's no email on none of those pages. That's not the right question. When you, when I look at your email and I click, I'm going to a page where your video is at. That's how we have it set up right now. But on that page, there's a button for your calendar. So rather than a button to go to, rather than a button to go to your Facebook group, for example, it's a button to go to your calendar. So these pages that are right here, like number nine, for example, I would put everything now. I don't know if it's there. I, I guess it's like, I, I mean, I, we've done this so many times. I don't even remember anymore, but your whole call to action is to get people right. Look, perfect. Schedule a call. I don't know if you said that in the, at the end of the video, but if you did, then perfect. I did so, it in all the videos. What's that? I did it in all the videos. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So then you're good. You're good. Everything is about clicking that button and going to your Kartra calendar. So then what I was saying is, um, what I, <laughs> I did in my little graph. What I'm saying is um, on this, so I can continue, for example, do a sales page or sales video, three minute sales video and say, click here for more, schedule an appointment. And then do I also have to do an email or do I just continue on this page, keep going on this page? So in I don't other know what words, you're do saying. I continue to, when I get to 10, pay, uh, email. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can just continue doing sales video. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And yeah. then, but I don't have to send an email every time, do I? No. Well, because if you go to the email, we have 10 emails already. Mm -hmm. My question is if I continue the page, page 11, page landing page or 11, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do I have to also do email 11? That's what I was asking. Well, yeah, because that, that's where, that's where the, they're getting the email. So after number 10, I get email number 11. Okay. And it's up to you if you want to do a video. Like, it's up to you. What You could just write text. It's up to you. Okay, yeah, but I can write video. email 11. And then if I want to do page, if I want to do a video, I put it on video number 11. Yes, you come to page okay. over here to my pages. And all you do is come down to your page. I would come down to page number 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 10 right here. Mm -hmm. I click the dots, clone. Yeah. That's it. So make this one number 11. 
and now you don't have 10, you don't have 11 mistakes, but I would just make yeah, this. Change it to whatever. Yeah, change it to whatever I'm doing. Email number 11. There it is there. And I would take that far. I would take it out as, as far as you, as you want. Like some of them I'm trying to shoot for the appointment. Some of them I'm maybe just giving them value. Some emails I am trying to invite to the Facebook group. Um, so yeah. there's many different things you can do, but, but at the same time, it's knowing your product and knowing exactly what the hell we have to sell to them. What's the upsell? You know, what's the upsell? And, and the so upsell I was doing was, uh, the 997 group program. Perfect. That's what you're selling them. That's that's then leave it at that. Make sure that that 997, you got it all, you know, narrowed down and make sure you, that product is tight and you know exactly what that, what that product you know, consist of and boom, all you got to do is come in here, click my product and create that product. You know, that product that let me, delete, let me delete this one. Actually, let me delete this other one. Actually either or, but all you gotta do is come in here and, and create that product. So I can come over here. Now I got to create the pages, but I mean, you can do a little bit before you get the pages done, but you want to you want to get the 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 thank you for scheduling page or the thank you for purchasing page, and then you want to tie your credit card to this. So now you I'll just have to configure later, but right here, and then pricing. You could change this to nine nine seven. Is the, did you delete your product that you have in there, for example, for me? This is it right here. So there's the product page. There's the thank you page. So the order complete page, they go to that page after they buy and then, and then your logo and then all that, you don't need that right there. So post sell after the post sell, then they go to a, a list they're tagged and then they access either a Kartra membership or they access a uh, integrated membership or it's no access because you're going to just do phone calls with them or zoom calls or whatever. Um, but if it's a Kartra membership, you'd go Kartra, but you don't have a membership yet. So it just be no access page, save that. You don't need advanced automations. You don't need affiliates. So now there goes that, um, that product. It still needs to be complete, but you'll have it right here. You'll have it right here. And now people can just, what I would do is I'd, get them on the phone and then take their credit card over the phone. This you'll have your own checkout page. Like with me, you know, I have, I have a checkout page. So when people are bringing me aboard for Facebook advertising, I'm not sending them this page. Okay, John, I'll send you a link to my page and you can just check out and purchase there. No, hell no. Who knows when John's going to get to it? I'm taking credit card right now. Like I'm not even showing him this page. I'm saying, okay, John, it's 997. Okay, great. You have a Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. I'm ready when you are. Like I'm taking the credit card over the phone right now. But when I do take it over the phone, I just come to my page when I'm not, when, once I hang up with John and I'll just run through it, run through this myself. Mm, what if they have payment plan? I schedule them on PayPal for payment plan. You can do that. I mean, whatever, whatever you want to do. I mean, whatever you want to do, but to tell you the truth, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go payment plan. I wouldn't be looking for people that need to do a payment plan. There's a market for everyone. There's a market for everything. You, you, there's a market for you to be selling a $5,000 course to people who want to learn public speaking. You don't need to go after people who need a payment plan of $30 a month. Like, no, I, I ain't got that kind of time. Do we want to help everyone? Yes. But I only have so much time in a day. I can't help everyone. So, so I have to go after people who, who can afford my, my service right now. And, 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 and that's that. So especially if you're running Facebook ads, you're not going to afford, you're not going to be able to afford giving people a payment plan. Like my, my course is 997. Like if you can't afford that, no big deal. Um, you can always catch up with us in your Facebook group. But your your whole goal should be, you know, getting people on the phone and selling them that 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 price point. Mm 
because that's that's how you're going to be able to afford these Facebook ads. And I wouldn't even have to worry about about I was going to do a challenge or whatever that webinar or challenge whatever. I can automate it as well. And, I mean, you can, you can, you can get there when you get there, but right now I wouldn't even do that to tell you the truth. I wouldn't evergreen webinar, zoom challenge, forget, I wouldn't do any of that. If I were you, I would be shooting for straight appointments. I need to get people on the phone. I have a nine ninety seven dollars product. I need to sell them. Unless you, unless you have all the content and all the, 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 the ability to create a course right now, then okay, go create a course in, in, in a coaching program. And, 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 do, and you can do all that in Kartra under my memberships. But if you're not there just yet with all the content, because that's, that's a lot. Like it, it's taken me, I'm not going to lie, it's taken me about a year and a half. And I've been working on it diligently. I've been working on it daily for about a year and a half. And I'm 99% done with my course. I'm still not done with it yet. It's time consuming. For my course, I will be teach. It's an eight week course that I'm going to be teaching them. Yeah. So however you want to do it, but you got to just figure out what it is and you got to, you got to put it together quick. I already, I already, I have my schedules. I've already done the course. It's okay. It's just trying to do this um, copy or whatever. But as far as you see what you have there in yours, that's mm -hmm. like mine. I've already done that like week one. Week two, week three, okay. all the way to week eight. That's you have all your problem. videos. Um, I was doing it physical, so I didn't do video for each okay. of them. Okay. If I'm automating it, then I will have to do a video to automate all. Well, yeah, yeah. So don't even automate right now. Is what I'm saying. Don't think about that right now. Just do it physical. Right now, right now, I'm doing physical. So I'm I'm getting people on my on my program over here. And I'm doing this physical until I really, really finalize my course. Physical so, is, is a lot easier for me, really. Hell no. It's freaking, I'm exhausted, man. I spoke to like, I had like five coaching calls today. I'm freaking beat. I can't I wait can, till I hang up with you. I can do, I like, can do 10, call, 10 coaching calls a day, a day. Oh my gosh. You're only going to be able to do that for so long. That, that you can't sustain that at all. I don't care who you I are. I do that like, it's not every single day, like Friday, it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, I'm doing it every day. All day. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, I, I thrive on it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm doing it every day right now, and it's just super time consuming. Like you and I, we've already been on the phone for a little over an hour. Like, it's time consuming. And so that's why you want to do that in the beginning. And then you solidify that offer and then you go record videos on it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so so you have to this but is I'm supposed to be doing this webinar and challenges and all those i don't even think at this point i think i'm just gonna get clients and just uh, sell them on an eight-week course yeah 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 that that's that's where you should start with all of this because that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna pay for your advertising budget over here yeah so start there and then start expanding from there. Yeah. Okay. I'll so let these numbers run. We're still, still very, very new in this campaign. So let's let these numbers run for the rest, rest of the month. I would, cause these are three, these are three good audiences. And then you have that video, just let it run. Like we're at the 23rd, let it run for the next seven days, eight days. And then, and then let's, let's plan on having a new video promoting the ebook preferably two minutes, two minutes long, doesn't have to be long, do about two to three minutes. And let's plan on launching that November 1st. Okay. Retargeting all those who watched this video and retargeting all those who have clicked. So watch the video, but they did not uh, yep. opt in. Yep. Okay. They didn't opt in. Okay. And, okay. and they clicked, but they didn't opt in. So whoever didn't opt in sees the next video. We retarget them with the next ad. I think it's probably, may, I might get a better response if I- No, no, that's a brand new ad right now. Every ad is, it operates this way. Unless people know who the hell you are, then your ad can, can perform right away fast. But no one knows who the hell you are. No one knows who I am. 
So when I start running Facebook ads, no one on Facebook even knows who the hell I am. I just have a little buzz on YouTube, but on Facebook, no one knows who the hell I am. So even when I start running video ads, I have to warm the audience up. It's going to take a while for people to really start to opt in. It's going to take some retargeting. It's going to take that pixel to start gathering people in the custom audience. That's why you have to look at the month. You can't look at just a few days. That's what, that's where everyone gets go, goes wrong. They'll look at a few days, look at the analytics after a few days and shit their pants because nothing happened. It's like, dude, it's been five days. Like what the hell? Like you have to let it run, let it run, you know, but, but think long-term, think more of the month. Don't think the week, think of month, you know, let, let it run because what's going to happen is these people, these are people that are clicking. These are people that are going to see your next ad. People are watching it. You know, look, 135, 101, 92. Almost over 100 people on each, in each audience have already saw three seconds of your video. You got almost 300 people. Yeah, yeah, you have over 300. Let me refresh this. You have over 300 people that have seen your face already for at least three seconds. You couldn't have done that if you posted on your personal page or if you posted in your Facebook group. You couldn't have had those results right away of people who were interested in these three targets. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's worth it. You just got to let it run, have a little bit, bit of patience. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So have a wonderful weekend. I'll be a message away if you need anything and let's chat. Let's chat anytime next week or anytime you need me on the cartridge side, let me know. But this Facebook ad side, let's let it run through next week. Okay. I will. Have the next video for November 1st. Okay. Okay. Selling ebook. I will. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me message away. Okay. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.